It's the pig. The pig. The pig. Bills, bills, we keep getting Bill's mail. <laughs> well, for an attractive single bachelor, he sure reads a lot of cat fancy. A free cereal sample. <laughs> Your allergy. This is loaded with peanuts. Well, how was I supposed to know? It's called Peanuttios. <laughs> but it's 105% peanuts. Jeez, that's a lot of pe... Ke ke Shellfish? Peanuts. Maybe Bill's gay. Can I have a ride to the dump? Why do you need a ride to the dump? Since when do you need a reason to go to the dump? <laughs> Sorry, I need the car. I'm babysitting and now I'm late. Well, excuse my heart for stopping. No fair faith, you got the car yesterday. Oh, Petey, we do not squirt epinephrine in people's eyes. No, we wouldn't have these arguments if we had a second car. Or if Petey were dead. We've had both these conversations before, and we can't afford another car. I could save you money if I had my own car. How do you figure that? Okay, uh, if I had a car then I could drive to the rich section of town and make more money by sitting a better class of baby. <laughs> then I could eat their food, use their phone, go on their family vacations, <laughs> sit in first class. I, I, please, I just gotta have a car. Two cars, first class? Somebody's been watching too much Dynasty. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but... If we don't get a second car soon, then I'm going to start hitchhiking. In shorts. <laughs> Me too. All right. Now, nobody's wearing shorts. Then I can get a car? Well, it's not just about the money, Faith. Having your own car is a big responsibility. Mm, your father and I don't want you out there driving around like some kind of Thelma or Louise. <laughs> But I am responsible. I'm a safe driver. I get good grades, and the only drugs I touch are the ones we use to resuscitate Dad. And when was the last time you saw her with a guy? You try getting a boy to ask you out living in this family. I don't want a boy to ask me out. She's right, Bob. She's very responsible. I don't know, what does a good used car go for? About $2,000. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, sweetheart. When you earn half, we'll match it. Really? Uh-huh. We'll call it Operation Car. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I'm really going to earn the money this time. This is not going to fizzle out like Operation Barbie Dreamhouse. <laughs> How much you got? Not nearly enough. Did you get that 20 in your diary? Yeah, I already got it. Will you stay out of my stuff? You shouldn't shove someone who's holding this. How much is that? One G. G's are a thousand, right? <laughs> oh my God, Petey, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank oh, you. Oh, not so fast, Hugalina. We got some terms to discuss. Okay, I'm listening. Unlimited rides, no questions asked. Very well. What else? I could have gotten more. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> where did you get a thousand dollars? Petey. Where did you get a thousand dollars? Birthdays, paper routes, lawn lawns. And then I doubled it at lowgamblers.com. <laughs> Way to go, sport. <laughs> well, come on, we never win anything. Okay. 
Looks like we're finally gonna be a two-car family. <laughs> Thanks to our little gambler. Don't thank me. Thank the Jets and the six-point spread. <laughs> Now, here's one in our price range. It's safe, reliable, boxy. Man, is she boxy. How about this one? I think it's cute. Cute? You wouldn't go out with a boy just because it's cute, would you? Besides, the Volkswagen is way out of our price range. We've only got 2,000. But, Dad, look, it's exactly 2,000. But then there's tax, title, undercoating. Oh, what the heck. My treat. Oh, thank you, Daddy. I love you. <laughs> Who's my love bug? It's you. Yes, you are. We packed your little safety kit, Faith. Road flares, jumper cables, inflatable life raft. Life raft? I've used mine three times. Say, honey, the store is low on packing tape. Could you pick up our order and have it to us in time by the noon rush? Sure, Mom. Oh, anything for you. And remember, you don't have to speed to be popular. Got it. What are you doing in my car? If it wasn't for my money, you wouldn't have a car. Where to? I have a very full day. First stop, the health club. To laugh at the fat guys. Next stop, behind the Korean restaurant to look for cat parts. Okay, now to Elm Street. There's a dead possum with maggots. We interrupt this terrible music for a special announcement. A robot is fighting a midget at Al's watch repair. There's Al, shut the door! <laughs> I thought we'd never get rid of that brat. Don't touch that dial face. Please tell me there's a crazed hobo crouching in the back seat. Nah, baby, it's me, B.W. Cars don't talk. Auntie cars, cars do. <laughs> Haunted car? I don't want a haunted car. I already own a haunted cello. You are going back to the car lot. You think that salesman's gonna give you back your money? Fine. Then I'm gonna tell my parents. And yeah, then you got no car. You'll just be another pretty girl riding a bus. You think I'm pretty? Is the Pope Mobile Catholic? You fine, girl. But you must hear that all the time from your boyfriend. Actually, I don't have a boyfriend. Get out! <laughs> the moment I saw you, I knew I'd give my right ball joint just to be with you. Really? <laughs> Most guys are afraid of me. See, my family has a lot of bad luck. Oh, they have you, don't they? <laughs> You? <laughs> oh, what the heck? You know, why shouldn't I have a haunted car? I am a pit. But I will tell you the same thing I told the cello. No funny business in front of anybody but me. I don't worry, I'll behave. I'm German. If anybody knows how to follow orders, it's me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was supposed to pick up packing tape for my parents' store. Relax, it's just tape. Yeah, you're right. You know, if I'm a few minutes late, it's not going to be the end of the world. Please, please, calm down. We can get through this thing together. The packing tape will be here soon. That's what you said five minutes ago. Where's Faith? It's getting ugly. Problem is, babe, 
think. You worry too much about what other people think. You think? Yeah. When you let your head down, you're fun. I am fun. <laughs> hey, there's my parents' store. <sighs> there's no place to park. That's okay. I'll just circle around the block till you get back. Thanks, VW. Don't leave without me. Oh, I ain't never leaving you, baby. Never, ever, ever. Wow. Slow day, huh? Not for our competition. You were supposed to be here at noon, and it's now four. It's noon in Tokyo. <laughs> Look, could you yell at me over dinner? The car's circling the block. The car's circling the block? No! That would be insane! <laughs> Bye. Morning, B.W. Morning, gorgeous. Hop in. Now I'm waiting for Colin Richards. I'm supposed to give him a ride to school. Him? As in another guy? Mm-hmm. Just between you and me. I've got a little crush on him. Oh, you do, do you? <laughs> well, you might want to go change those pants and make your butt look big. <laughs> you said I look gorgeous. Yeah, to me, sure. I like a little bubble in my bathtub. <laughs> you decide. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, Colin, hell. Who said that? It's me, Faith's younger brother. You know, with the spiky hand and sticky hands. Uh, Petey? Yeah, Petey, that's it. Uh, anyway, I'm stuck. Help me, help me. Well, I don't see you. I'm under the car. Oh. <laughs> Colin's not here yet? Uh, he was, but he got into this car load of girls with small butts. Uh... God, now I have to see him all day at school with his jerky blonde hair and his jerky high cheekbones. You won't have to see him if you ditch school. What? Come on, girl, don't be boring. I am not boring. I have to give an oral report on the invention of the steam engine and its impact on mechanized farming. Oh, my God, I am boring. <laughs> Let's go have some fun. But oddly enough, Colin Richards is there with a concussion. That poor family has the worst luck. What a fun day. My favorite part was when we went to the mall and unplugged all the electric cars. <laughs> yeah, those tree-hugging wimps. <laughs> <sighs> Just my luck. The first time I get into the back seat of a guy's car, and he is a car. <laughs> well, I better get back inside. Help me come up with a good lie to tell my parents. Mm, how about you tell them? Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Welcome home, Faith. Uh, I am so glad that you guys are still awake so I can tell you about the uh, big accident. Accident, you say? Yeah, it, it was a, a van full of senior citizens. Oh, yes. Our greatest generation. Go on. So they, they hit this dump truck, and it was full of marbles? Oh, stop your lying, Faith. We know you were at the carnival. Why would you say that? <laughs> you skipped school, you broke curfew. You're like a different person. Are you on the ecstasy? <laughs> Bob, get me a peacup. I 
don't need to see anybody's pee to know that Faith is not ready for the responsibility of owning a car. What do you mean? We forbid you from ever driving this car again. I can't sell my car. I love him, it. Sorry, Faith, but you brought this on yourself. Fine. But, you know, my bathing suit skipped school. Why don't you sell it? And, and my backpack broke curfew. Why don't you sell this, too? In fact, why don't you just sell me? Can we, Dad? Ow. Did, you, did you see that, Liz? It, it's almost like the car did it on purpose. Yes, Bob. The car hates you. <laughs> I want to talk to you. I can't. I'm grounded. Mm, fine. I'm coming up there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Shut up. Hop in, baby. I got you a little gift. <laughs> okay, but just for a minute. Okay, now come on. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Open it. A diamond? Where did you get this? Uh, it fell off a truck. <laughs> now, shut up, girl. I'm, not, I'm trying to ask you to marry me. Marry you? But you're a car. But you said you love me. Well, I do, but the way a person loves a car. Hey, Faith. Ah, Petey, God, what are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Bearing stuff? <laughs> Your car talks? Yeah, it's haunted, okay? Now go back to bed. Cool. Do you know the Batmobile? Beat it, punk. Ow! Hey! Nobody hits my brother but me and that little girl across the street. Okay, no more, Mr. Nice Car. We're going to Las Vegas and we're getting married. I don't think so. Sorry, baby. It's my way and the highway. Wagon wants to marry her? That is insane, even for our family. Bob, our daughter's been kidnapped and it's all my fault. Your fault? I was the brains behind Operation Car. <laughs> but Dad's the one who picked it out. Hey, you loaned her the money. Ugh. We can blame each other on the way. That VW's got a 10 minute jump on us. We're going to Las Vegas to chase a talking car. I love my life. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> yeah, we're gathered here today under the eyes of God and all his magical friends. You cannot marry a human to a car. Hey, this is Las Vegas. For 14 bucks, I'll marry to this can opener. Help! Let's get this marriage moving. I now pronounce you car and wife. Stop the ceremony! Too late! We're already married, Dad. <laughs> Hey, what are they, T.J. Hooker's family? You must send our daughter! Give it up, VW! They'll never let go! The pits don't quit! If no one's afraid of heights... We're going up the fabulous Luxor! Boy champ. <laughs> One. Ah! One down, two to go. We're headed straight for the laser beam. <laughs> jump! Ah! Laser beam.
please finish sliding down the pyramid first. I'm sorry I almost got you all killed. Should have told you the minute the car started talking. I just hope in the future that if any inanimate object starts behaving inappropriately or coming on to you, that you'll tell us. What if something was talking to me, but isn't anymore? Like what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Why she fell for a man, and chances are she won't say looks, which gave us an idea. On April 21st, one woman will search for true love from a field of 20 eligible men. When you meet them, they'll look like this. When she sees them, they'll be a little less revealing. But once she's chosen Mr. Right, will her love last when the mask comes off? Things could get ugly on the new reality series, Mr. Personality, coming Monday, April 21st to Fox.